We are in the advanced uh, trading strategies module using options and futures. In this course, we're going to look at diagonals, double diagonals. Now, we're not actually going to put trades on these, on these strategies because if these are, now you're getting into a somewhat of an exotic range and these may not be for everybody. Uh, the most popular advanced uh, option strategies are the iron condors, uh, calendars, and um, uh, backspreads and straddles and strangles. So, in those, we are going to put trades, but for diagonals, double diagonals, butterflies, and ratio spreads, we're going to understand the theory. So, you're going to know exactly what these strategies are, but we're just not going to put trades on them. So, let's look at what a diagonal is. So, the diagonal is also a time spread. So, which means it involves different expiry series months. And just like the calendar, you sell the front month and you buy the back month. But the back month now has a different strike price and it's, it's an out of the money strike price. So in, in a calendar, we sell the front month and buy the back month in the same strike price. But in a diagonal, what we do is we sell the front month at, at the money option and we buy an out of the money back month option. And so what does that do for us is a little subtle and you'll understand it more when we go into the trading platform. Let me just explain the concept of this uh, strategy. So because we are buying an out of the money put in the back month, you could be non-directional when you start. So you may or may not be delta neutral. There are ways to construct it as delta neutral as possible, but you'll still end up being having some sort of a delta bias. The diagonal is also a theta positive trade and a vega positive trade. That characteristic of a time spread will still be there in a diagonal. But diagonals have less vega exposure than calendars because the strike that you buy in the back month is out of the money.